that life is a test. We have been brought into this world in order to be tested. So things will definitely happen in our lives that we don't like and we don't want as a test from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Haven't we been saying that? Yesterday we heard so many speakers and mashallah they said that. So today Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decided to test us in a very big way. What was it? Let me tell you what it was. When we go for Hajj, the thing that we've been spoiled with our entire lives may be missing when we go for Hajj. You used to the best bathroom ever. You go for Hajj, they promise you a five star bath and then you go to Makkah and you see the small little cubicle and they say that's five star. That's your test. What are you going to do about it? Your luxury that you've been used to for so long has just been taken away from you for the five days of Hajj. That's your test. You're used to beautiful food. You know, in Malaysia, mashallah, everything is makan, makan. I'm sure you know that, isn't it? Mashallah, I used to call it makanistan at one stage. So, subhanallah, when you go for hajj, you don't find sometimes the food that you want or something goes wrong with the food and you paid for a five-star package. So if you are a person who comes out and says, I paid for this package and who the hell do you guys think you are and use derogatory terms to refer to them, you're just failing your test. You can raise the issue respectfully, you can. But respectfully, look brother, what went wrong? Is there some way I can help? So similarly, we spoke about so many things yesterday and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose that today the air conditioning unit won't be working early morning. It's going to come on a little bit later on. What did you do? Well, you know, I don't need to say. If you reacted by saying subhanallah, alhamdulillah, or you went to ask someone to say, look, what's, is there something wrong? Are you sure the temperature is, you know, put down? You sure you know how to operate the system and so on. Alhamdulillah, you have passed the test, maybe. And you thank Allah to say, Ya Allah, you know what? Like someone told me that, Qul naru harra. They said, I dealt with it by remembering the verse where Allah says, the fire of Jahannam is much more hot. Allahu Akbar. Wow. So the reason I make mention of this is because when something goes wrong and is not the way you want it, look at it as an opportunity to earning the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Look at it as a chance to showcase your character and conduct to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to say, look, this went absolutely AWOL, but here I am and I'm still composed and I'm smiling and I'm happy and I'm excited. That's the way we will earn Jannah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us goodness. I